United Nations is an international organization globally known for its cause to humanity. As part of the UN's mandate to humanity, the United Nations Volunteers UNV program promotes volunteerism to support peace and development worldwide. The year 2011 marks the 10th anniversary of the International Year of Volunteers IYV Plus 10 after 2001 was designated as the International Year of Volunteer IYV by the United Nations General Assembly. This is in recognition of the role and contribution international and national volunteers make in development and peace efforts. The volunteer efforts accelerate the achievement of MDGs and contribute to sustainable development. Volunteers at this moment in Malawi are working in, in many, many different areas. United Nations volunteers, for instance, are currently working in district hospitals in order to provide direct uh, health care for uh, people living in rural areas. Uh, UNV doctors are working as specialists, surgeons, in some of the referral hospitals and are providing there a service to help and build up the, the, the quality and the capability of the national health system to train up new uh, surgeons to assist in, in, in teaching and developing the systems for medical care. But we also have, for instance, national UNVs working at district administrations to assist with the planning process, to assist with bringing together communities in order to work more effectively with the limited resources that are available for implementation of rural development programs, social development programs, uh, programs that deal directly with the health and the well-being of children, just to, to give a few examples. The UNV program in Malawi is administered by the United Nations Development Program, UNDP Malawi. However, in making a contribution to the achievement of the goals of Malawi's Growth and Development Strategy and Millennium Development Goals, all UN agencies in Malawi are delivering as one. Currently, 90 volunteers are fielded, with more expected to be mobilized in key government sectors. The UN volunteers in the health sector in Malawi are categorized in two, general practitioners and specialist doctors. Because the ministry is um, sort of like a specialized area, what we, uh, the UN volunteers that we have are um, mainly medical doctors. Um, so the medical doctors range in our qualifications from general practitioners to specialists. Um, the reason why we have UNVs in the ministry is because we have uh, a human resource challenge um, in the sector. Working in partnership with the Ministry of Health with funding from the Global Fund to fight AIDS, tuberculosis and malaria, the UNV assists in improving the capacity of the ministry to deliver quality health services to the citizenry through provision of essential health services in the hospitals and transfer of skills to Malawian health workers, especially doctors. To achieve this, UNV Malawi has recruited 65 international medical specialists and general practitioners who are currently serving in four central hospitals and some in the district hospitals countrywide. We place volunteers in, um, in areas where there is no uh, Malawian medical doctors or in places where we need UNVs to do skills transfer to um, Malawian counterparts so mainly in the district hospitals and then also the central hospitals whereby they are responsible for training um, junior and young doctors. This in turn allows local doctors and other personnel to understudy the volunteer staff thereby transferring knowledge and skills for sustainable provision of quality health services. This is Zomba Central Hospital, serving as a referral to five district hospitals of Balaka, Mangochi, Machinga, Palombia and Mulanje. As the only referral in the eastern region of Malawi, Zomba Central Hospital is one of the busiest. Through partnership with UNV, the Ministry of Health has placed four UNV doctors at Zomba District Hospital. Dr. Kabea is a resident gynecologist at Zomba Central Hospital. The challenge is what I facing the first time when I came at the Zomba Central Hospital level first, it was what? Uh, I will find more patients. Even today, you find the patient that I get only the bed, one bed, one patient. This time when I came, there is more patient. Even you can find two patients on the bed and others on the floor. The problem it was what? The problem it was 
the more the patient was coming from district hospitals. Through his weekly outreach clinic sessions, Dr. Kabea has personally trained seven clinical officers who are now able to perform operations on their own in the districts. We still sharing with the health workers, I mean general practitioners, clinical officers, midwives and the nurses in terms of skill, knowledge and experience. They still doing, take care to the small cases they can manage. And we want also during this program to improve the technical management in district hospital in a uh, term of to improve management to our patient in their village. One such clinician is Francis Kalidze, Chief Clinical Officer for Balaka District Hospital. Actually, before the UNV uh, came in, we had uh, some challenges. Yeah. Um, challenges in the way that we could not handle some of the complicated cases like you at the district hospital. And uh, due to our capacity, we could actually refer those patients to the central hospital. When they come in, um, they tried at least to transfer some of those skills to our uh, local uh, uh, plaxioneers. Yeah, in the sense that those uh, cases which we, we, we used to refer are now being done right away here. Lovness Malinga is a patient who has benefited from the presence of the UNV doctors. For 14 years, Malinga had been suffering from rectal vaginal fistula. In 1997, I had a complicated child delivery that resulted into a rectal vaginal fistula. But when I came here, I was operated on by the UNV doctor and I'm in good health ever since. At Kamuzu Central Hospital, Dr. Ellen Estua is a senior pediatrician heading the pediatric department. With the current brain drain in the country, where local specialist doctors look for jobs in foreign countries, Dr. Estua trains junior doctors and student doctors of the department. I will be a senior pediatrician or pediatrician specialist P4. It's like I was assisting the head of the department in the Rota management of the department capacity building. As part of transferring skills and knowledge to the local doctors, Dr. Stua is active in the morning briefings, getting updates about the patients in the department and briefing the doctors on how well to handle particular cases. With a specific interns for the day, Dr. Estua also conducts bedside lectures to the interns and junior staff. In Nkotakota, one of the Lake Shore districts of Malawi, one UNV specialist doctor realized that statistics at the Ministry of Health indicated a rise in non-communicable diseases. This opened the opportunity for a diabetes clinic to be established at Nkotakota District Hospital. When I assess the area, it seems that they lack the the programs regarding the prevention of non-communicable diseases and then I've heard that the, the statistics in, from MOH, from the Ministry of Health in Malawi, there is a rising balance rate of cases of non-communicable diseases like diabetes and hypertension. So I was encouraged to, to do this project. When the clinic was first established in 2009, it had just over 50 patients. But today the clinic has over 1,100 patients on treatment. The diabetes clinic is proving a success. From scheduling consultations once a week in 2009, today the clinic is operating five days a week. Dr. Diamante has also trained his Malawian counterparts to independently conduct preliminary treatment and examinations on his patients. Queen Elizabeth Central Hospital in Blanta is a teaching hospital for the Malawi College of Medicine, student doctors. The college uses the River Hospital for hands-on training and internship for the medical students. However, with the shortage of local specialist doctors, the UNV specialists at the hospital play a major part in the training. So we do assist the college on, uh, uh, I can say, to supervise uh, young doctors, uh, registrar, interns, do some lecture teaching from to the students and uh, assist in most I can say of the 
college activities related to the teaching side with uh, students. The College of Medicine appreciates the contribution to the training and the provision of better clinical services to the patients. By having a good clinical environment, you provide a teaching environment for the students. On the one hand, we, you know, we give lectures and the UNV volunteers also contribute to the lecture program, but even more importantly, they contribute to the clinical service, which is, the, the, which is really the workplace for the students. So the contribution is in, in both, the academic side, but particularly also in the, in the service provision side. Other UNV practitioners in the health sector in Malawi include dental surgeons, general surgeons, physiotherapists, pediatricians and general practitioners. In Mzuzu, UNV is tackling MDG goal number 6, combating HIV, AIDS, malaria and other diseases through the volunteers based at Mzuzu ART clinic. My task is a HIV program supervisor. The first one is to ensure a regular monitoring and evaluation. The second one is to organize and facilitate in-service training to those staff who are uh, at the facilities, those who are providing uh, antiretroviral uh, services, uh, PMTCT, and also uh, HIV testing and counseling. As a regional HIV program supervisor, Dr. Mubiala is responsible for all health ministries, HIV AIDS programs and initiatives. Through the initiatives and trainings of Dr. Mubiala, Mzuzu Central Prison today has an in-house ART clinic, as well as a well-trained resident medical personnel to provide ART treatment. The Mzuzu Central Prison ART clinic is being taken care of by Alec Chigadza, who is a medical assistant at the prison running the ART clinic. The prison clinic offers VCT services providing ARVs and nutrition provisions for HIV positive inmates. We actually offer uh, ARVs to prisoners and there is some members of staff. Then we have a program on nutrition whereby this is covered with 2% uh, of the government funding. Uh, which includes uh, many nutrition foods, including our own garden, which is uh, which prisoners themselves uh, are actually opening outside the prison. So we have vegetables, fruits, and uh, ponds for fish farming. And then uh, all these are uh, programs of HIV, and I mean uh, on the ART side of us. UNV, working with funding from Global Fund, deployed volunteers to the Ministry of Gender, Child and Community Development under the Capacity Development in Social Welfare Project. The volunteers in the social welfare sector are tasked with strengthening the capacity of the Ministry of Gender, Child and Community Development through the District Social Welfare Department. This is being done in Nkatabe, in Kotakota, De Zancheo, Balaga, Zumba, Machinga, Chiradzulu, Nsanje, Chikwawa, Salima, and Idoa. So far, there's been a marked difference in the districts where UNV social welfare officers are based. This, in turn, is expected to scale up national response for orphaned and vulnerable children as per the National Plan of Action. Eight international UN volunteers comprising of social welfare specialists and ICT specialists are serving at their local district and national level, being involved in numerous development initiatives. Their roles has been to go into those districts and uh, help build capacity in terms of competencies, professionalism, project implementation, proposal writing, uh, how they can implement the OVC program, the child development program, the child rights programs uh, in about 12 districts. In the luxury districts of Nkotagora and Karabe, child right abuses were common. Despite such a scenario, the local district social welfare offices were unable to follow up on such cases because villagers did not report such cases to the authorities. This scenario was also worsened by the absence of a well-trained and managed social welfare staff at the district assembly. However, the coming in of a UNV social welfare officer at the assemblies turned the situation around. The UNV Social Welfare Officer is responsible for program management, 
ensuring quality implementation of OVC activities and for building capacity at district social welfare offices to ensure continuity and sustainability. One major achievement at the district level has been the training of district social welfare officers on how to update the OVC database and to manage an online database which is linked to the National OVC Electronic Management Information System at the Ministry of Gender, Children and Community Development. The database containing information on OVC is crucial for planning, implementing and monitoring initiatives aimed at improving the lives of OVC and is now utilized by various development partners. At the moment, we have um, 19,729 already in the database. Through the efforts of the UNV Social Welfare Office, Malingamzoma Village in Inkarabe has realized the need to protect child rights. With the training from the Social Welfare Office, the area formed child protection committees. These committees sensitize villagers on child rights as well as resolving cases of child right violations in the area. The committee members serve as local volunteers to their communities and comprise of policemen, health surveillance assistants, teachers, farmers and housewives. After the Child Protection Committee was trained at district level by Mrs. Ellen Paolo, they sensitized the locals to form similar village committees. Through such committees, the people of Malingamzoma are aware of protecting child rights and child abuses are now rare. The case of Patricia Piri is a success story of the Child Welfare Committee in Malingamzoma village. While at the age of 15, Patricia's uncle, who was her guardian at the time, married her off. Patricia ran away from her uncle's home before she was escorted to her proposed suitor. She reported to her mother, who alerted the village child welfare committee. Through the intervention of the committee, Patricia was saved from an airy marriage. She aspires to be an engineer. My ambition is to become an engineer. I am aware that this ambition can never be realized if I go into an early marriage. This is what motivated me to rebuff an early marriage my uncle was forcing me into. Similarly, in Incheo district, the UNV social worker was tasked with strengthening of the child protection committees, as well as orienting district councils on conducting child parliaments, assisting in developing district strategic plans, organizing district coordinating meetings and other activities within the surrounding districts of Balaka, Deza and Incheo. We have also tried as a district to link the communities to other stakeholders. Uh, for instance, World Division International has helped uh, the community to, to have child parliament to supplement on what we've got from UNDP and the Minister of Gender and uh, scale up the child parliaments in every, in every community. At the same time, they have also helped to support children who with requis requisite qualifications to, to go further in education. UN volunteers are highly active in uplifting the agricultural and food security sector of the country. Upon deployment, the UN volunteers work hand in hand with smallholder farmers to contribute towards food security and rural livelihood of the nation. In partnership with the National Smallholder Farmers Association of Malawi NASFAM, UNV has registered numerous success stories through the establishment of the Agricultural Commodity Exchange for Africa, S. To make it short, to put down structures for, for trade linkages, the structures needed to link the small-scale sector of farming to the formal markets. That in, involves a, a, a number of, of um, activities and I'm basically here to make sure that these activities, they grow together because that's what needed for an exchange to succeed. Through S, smallholder farmers in Madisi and Doha are maximizing their potential. Through Chiambi Cooperative, ACE assists the community by training the members in good agricultural practices. The cooperative is also mentored by ACE on ways of finding markets for the produce itself, thereby strengthening the independence of the grouping. Through this cooperative, the farmers are now able to produce farm produce on a large scale, which is sold through ACE. In 2006, we had a bumper harvest of soya, peas, beans and other crops. Unfortunately, we had no ready market. 
but when we were linked to Agriculture Commodity Exchange, we realized our potential with profitable sales through them. Best Amora migrated to Doha from Palombe to embark on commercial farming. Since joining Chiambi, he has established a thriving grocery store in the main market of Madisi from the proceeds selling his produce through S. My first customer through Ace was a white man, all the way from Tiolo. He bought maize with cash. This was after I failed to sell my maize produce two years prior. In 2009, the Agriculture Commodity Exchange found me a customer in Wild Food Program, who purchased maize from me in excess of 25 metric tons or more. The expertise and skills of the resident UNV at ACE is also being transferred to the local staff. Since 2009, local staff at ACE are now able to run the agency with expertise and dedication. I work hand in hand with Mr. Christian Muller. In fact, I get all the knowledge from him. As I said before, that our main role is to facilitate trade linkages between farmers and the buyers. We link the farmers and the small traders to the big companies that are looking for uh, commodities. So uh, Christian Moller is the one who goes around looking for markets, talking to, the, to these big companies. And after he gets uh, markets from these big companies, he tells us, then we link to the farmers. One of the main activities of the UN volunteers assigned to the local governments is a strengthening of the capacity of the planning and finance departments of town councils and assemblies. National UN volunteers are involved in the planning, project implementation and resource mobilization and financial monitoring of the district assemblies. We needed to have uh, adequate uh, personnel and uh, at times it's not uh, easy to get the skills that you'd want at the time that we'd, we'd want them um, in the public service and that's where UNDP comes in through uh, the UNV program. We have been able to um, request for technical support. Uh, this is where now within the districts that we are working under the LOGSIP and we're getting support from UNDP and UNCDF, we have some United Nations volunteers. Basically under LOGSIP these are national volunteers, Malawians, that have actually have been recruited as volunteers. One such district that is reaping the benefits of UNV's contribution to capacity development is Chiradzulu, about 20 miles east of Malawi's commercial capital, Blantai. Uh, my terms of references is actually you not know, to advise or to plan, uh, to, ad to advise uh, the district council through the office of the director of planning in terms of planning for the development within the districts. In the two years that Chiradzulu has had a national UNV, it has seen a turnaround in the planning department. With expertise and technical know-how from the UNV, the district is now able to write winning proposals to various stakeholders. As a district planner, cast across <coughs> sectors, I'm not only confined to the council secretariat. I do projects that uh, touch on agriculture, I do projects that touch on healthy, I do projects that touch on uh, you know, uh, social welfare, I do projects that touch on community development. So as, as a planner, you are all in all, and even as a UNV, you are, you are supposed to be available wherever you are wanted so that you can actually you know enhance and build the capacity of the people and be part of the team to actually achieve what government would want to achieve in terms of development in the district. Through the office of the Chiradzuru UNV's district planner, Chizungurile Primary School has prioritized hygiene through the water sanitation and hygiene project. Under the public works program, the Chiradzuru district planner has also helped in the promotion of irrigation farming in the district. Uh, in agriculture, for example, there have been a number of success stories. One of them is that we have managed actually to uh, construct fish ponds. Um, a number of fish ponds have been constructed. Uh, Chiradzul actually currently has got uh, 94 fish ponds. And one of the dams that we constructed is uh, uh, the Onga Fish Farm Pond. Under this farm, fish farm pond, people are integrating fish farming with irrigation. Chiradzulu also has a financial advisor who is a national UNV as well. Among other districts benefiting from the national UNV in the planning offices is Cholo. UNV Malawi has deployed specialist volunteers in the field of environment and climate change. 
in this sector, UNV works in collaboration with the World Food Program, WFP. On the ground, the UN volunteers are on the forefront in tackling issues of environmental degradation of various forms. Since I came in Malawi in 2010, we, especially in the field which I'm working on, climate change, we, we, uh, we, we reached quite uh, uh, relevant progresses, especially in terms of what we're working on, like capacity development, institutional um, coordination and uh, setting up of institutional management arrangements, and uh, in general, yeah, capacity development at the government, central government level. I think uh, with my small contribution, I, I can say I have contributed to this uh, progress toward a better management of climate change in the country. The main UNV activity in the implementation area of Mtandiri in Nilongwe is a Waste for Wealth project. The villagers around the Mtandiri area, with expertise of a national UNV, produce manure from waste raw materials. Through his expertise and skills, the UNV helps the villagers in sourcing ready markets for their produce. The West for Wealth project is uh, supposed to um, mainly address the issue of uh, uh, the problem of waste in the city of Lilongwe, while at the same time creating a, um, a source of income in terms of uh, giving, creating employment for people in the communities who did not have uh, anything to do. To harvest the manure, the entrepreneurs first collect the raw wastage from homes and markets. These are sorted and mixed with water and then gathered into heaps. The heaps are then covered with plastic papers and they are turned every fortnight before being harvested after six weeks ready for the market. Through the West for Wealth program, many villagers are joining the project as entrepreneurs for a source of income. Since joining this project, my life as a wife has changed for the better. In the past, when I was just a mere housewife with no source of income, I used to quarrel a lot with my husband. He was constantly upset that I was unable to contribute in sourcing income for the family. But with this project, I am now able to contribute to the family financial needs. I am even able to pay school fees for our children. Volunteering brings benefits to both society at large and the individual volunteer. It makes important contributions economically as well as socially. In celebrating the IYV Plus 10, the world commemorates volunteering as an expression of common humanity and as a means of building mutual respect, understanding, trust, solidarity and reciprocity. The International Year of the Volunteers is really there to provide recognition of the importance of volunteerism in a society. It promotes the idea of volunteerism to, 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 to show to people how they can volunteer within their own societies. In line with achievement of volunteerism worldwide, Malawi is one of the proud celebrants of the IYV Plus 10. It is encouraging to know that Malawi is one of the countries in this region with the highest number of volunteers and most of them are local youths. Volunteerism has an enormous potential to engage people in tackling development challenges and transforming the pace and nature of development. UNV work in Malawi is contributing to a more cohesive society by building trust and reciprocity among citizens of the country. Music